In this video, we'll take a look at the creation of the water. Let's fly closer to one of the houses. And after selecting the surface of the water on the right in the material section, double click to open the material. This is the material instance. Opposite to parent, double click, go to the base material. Simple, as reflective as possible, and we just modernize it. In the search, I typed in water noise material. I copied this normal bump texture, pasted it in Photoshop, it turned out to be too small. I found another, here it is, I copy it and save it with the correct size for the load. Whenever possible, I try to name objects correctly. In this case, I named the texture T prefix. And always use underscores instead of spaces. Add texture to the content browser and transfer it to the variable material. We right click on an empty space and in the search we type pen, select panner. Hold M and left click to create a multiply. We connect the created multiply to the UVs of the texture sample node and connect the panner to the input to channel A of the multiply. Hold S on the keyboard, left click, create the parameter. We name this parameter and connect it to channel B of the multiply. We need to create a color management node. To do this, hold 2 or 3, it doesn't matter, and left click. After that, right click on node and convert to parameter. We name this as the direction of the water and we connect it to the speed channel of the node panner. Attach the texture sample to normal, and so as far, nothing happens. If we change the direction of wave directional, also nothing will happen. The direction is changing, but some additional adjustments still need to be made. First of all, hold down U and place the created node in the panner, in the coordinate channel. Now nothing has happened either, because we need to set the scale of our wave in the wave intensity. Set some value. It was zero. And the smaller this value is, the larger the scale of the normal bump will be. We continue to select the settings, and based on the reference, we achieved the results so that the water looks realistic. In text coordinates, we write the value. And the larger the volume is, the larger the tilling will be, and the scale will increase accordingly. In wave directional we select the necessary color empirically and we change the direction of the water. Having found the desired color, changing it carefully and in small steps. We return to text coordinate and drive in a larger value to reduce the scale of the waves, the scale of the ripples. And do not forget to save the material. Sometimes in real time the changes do not take effect. And when they're saved, they will definitely work. Through trial and error for the text chord, I picked the values that made small ripples. Copy the chain of created nodes. Below text coordinate, let's connect the same one for now. Right click and search add, or hold A and left click. Connect texture samples to A and B, hold them with the left mouse button. Hold down 1 with the left mouse button, right button on the created node, convert it to a parameter. By the way, you could just hold S and the left click. We name it and connect node to B. And we connect that to A. We connect the whole chain to normal, set the normal bump intensity to 1, I change the wave intensity parameter to 2, and by copying the text coordinate I change the scale, and having connect the scale to the new chain. We see a kind of superposition of two waves like two layers. One upper layer is larger, the lower one, which we see under the upper one, is slightly smaller in scale. I held 2 on the keyboard, left click, connect node to speed panner in the second chain and change it the values a little. I keep changing the values to achieve the necessary result. I advise you not to deepen into the parameters, but simply try empirically to achieve the necessary result. 
so that when you check the reference, your result is close to the select reference. If you go deep into the technical side, you will lose the artistic component of your picture. Here I separately connect the first type of wave and the second. And then connect the general one in order to understand which layer is responsible for what. And we go to the content browser for the material. Here it is. And either we create a create material instance or with the surface of the water selected. We just double click, open the instance. And all these parameters that we have created, they are changeable and in real time because instance works like that. And now, by changing the numbers, achieve a satisfactory result. And don't forget to save. Go through the sequencer to the camera, turn on the display of trees. And this is the result we got.